again, once again, shout out to Bricky. Bricky is looking good in this video. Is it the hair or something? This video is uh, more recent than the ones that we watched. Uh, he, ha he has new legs. He got a glow up since uh, since the, the factions video. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go. Thank you so much for uh, to Bricky for giving us a permission to watch this and react to it. To the people on the internet, the time has come. The, the reckoning, reckoning begins. begins. Boy got himself a shaker cup. <laughs> oh my God, amazing. <sighs> After many, many months of shilling gamersups like mad, my favorite thing to do ads. we have ourselves a goddamn shaker cup it's here is that the a sister ba sister of battle shaker cup do you see the gal on here if it's, if it's not great at focusing i'm sure there'll be a thing in the background the skater put a thing oh, in the yeah, background it is. long white hair absolutely a bit more toned abs obviously <laughs> bikini hit it legally distinct mark on the face of course she wants you to do the diddle thing maybe but most likely <laughs> to serve in a glorious army legally distinct i think so <laughs> the bricky shaker cup is available now it's a bricky and you should shaker get it cup while it is hot but if you're thinking bricky what should i put in this well how about my top 10 favorite gamer subs flavors from number wow. one to number 10 all of them incredible but listed regardless and an addendum for those that are caffeine free this shaker wow. cup is available now in the description of this video you may use code bricky as well at checkout to get a discount on your order a massive amount of profits goes to yours truly and a huge thank you to gamer subs for sponsoring support bricky by his beautiful beautiful cup, cup go from a year ago it. i'm gonna take one more sip for the camera slow it down throw some sexy music in there <laughs> and i'll see you guys soon what the hell that's some top tier marketing there i i <sighs> hello everybody my name is bricky <laughs> I'm so, suddenly having an urge to either buy stuff from Bricky or to to sponsor Bricky to promote my stuff, which I don't have. But if I ever do, <laughs> hopefully I will have enough money to sponsor Bricky for advertising it. Currently stuck in the walls of the most prodigious school in the Imperium by punishment for falling asleep during class. God bless the Skull of Progenium. Many of you have come across my Every Faction Explained video. Yeah. Firstly, yeah. thank you. Secondly, we are here to dig a little deeper. Space Marines are the quintessential poster boys of Warhammer 40,000. When people think 40K, they think Space Marines. But there are many types of Space Marines formed from 20 separate legions. We are going to rattle them off in order and give you a quick rundown okay. of each one. Yeah, this a disclaimer, is amazing. like in my Every Faction Explained video, this is a mix of accuracy and memes. If I say the Salamander's Legion specializes in hugging children and petting puppies, they aren't exactly doing that, mostly. No! I would like to pet this creature. <laughs> but you can infer that they care about civil. Can I pet that dog? <laughs> I feel like Bricky has been getting a bunch of like, you know, like not hate, but you know what I mean. And they don't appreciate memes and humor. They're like, that's so undeserved. I, I love Bricky's delivery. See, because there's satire in it. It is so extra. It's it is so over the top that like it's funny already <laughs> because of how ridiculous it is. So this is why I like watching this guy. It is complete satire. Yeah, see, like I don't know shit about Warhammer 40k. I understand that. Billions and are a bit kinder than the average space marine. A, a space kinder, marine okay. being a genetically modified super soldier that's had we'll a million new and terrifying organs shoved into them, refrigerators strapped to their bodies, and are so far above the average human that they are referred to as demigods instead. Each space marine has a father, unlike you, a Primarch, which is basically an even bigger space marine that was forged in a lab by the 
god emperor of mankind that gigantic golden dude you see everywhere who is both the leader and now the martyr of humanity yeah the emperor doesn't look anything like this anymore sons, built in a lab who lead 20 legions of space marines or their sons not from a lab but rather a dissection table giving them the powers and skills of their associated Primark via a gene seed, a special organ carrying the genetic makeup of their Primark uh -huh. and, you know, their seed. So Shagatai <laughs> Khan of the White Scars has the genetic makeup that wants him to go really, really fast. Then his sons, the Space Marines, mm -hmm. also want to go fast. really, really uh -huh. fast. Okay. I should note that I am only referring to the Legions this time around. If you're interested in sub-factions like, let's say, the Black Templars, then it's not going to be here. However, I do have a excellent Black Templar video. I'd argue it's probably the most accurate one I can think of. It goes through the whole lore, everything about them. It's a very long video. I'll put it in the description. Just look up Black Templar video in the description. You'll get what you need. And now with the easy explanation out of the way, let us begin with our first legion. Dark Angels. Elite. <laughs> oh my god, I love this song. Legions <laughs> loyal. Primark Lion L. Johnson, a duelist, a knight, a real asshole, I'm not gonna lie. The single word descriptor paranoid the dark angels are our first legion hailing from the death world known as calabam their primarch lion l johnson is what happens when you try to make the side profile chad meme into a genuine character oh he God. is a master tier duelist a brilliant strategist and an overall dick there are a few situations he isn't prepared for and few fights he isn't ready to lead head on this makes the dark angels have a very knights of the round table vibe they look like the knights of old with these large suits of power armor often donning robes and hoods their names also follow this they have like ezekiel azrael belial samuel and so oh. on however the common thing associated with dark angels are the fallen a part of their faction that turned traitor against the imperium and they are very heavily trying to expunge all knowledge of them from existence fallen what fallen? Never heard of any fallen. Do you know about the fallen? We're gonna take you away and mind probe you to make sure you have never heard of the fallen. They definitely don't exist. And if they do exist, which they don't, we will find them even though they don't exist. They love their interrogations. They thrive in it. Lionel Johnson is a scorched earth policy sometimes, and it's given to his sons in force, which makes sense considering that when the lion heard of a chaos primarch on a homeworld different primarch, whose mom was there, he was like, Let's nuke it. The Dark Angels are a special group where they formulate themselves into three different factions. The Deathwing Terminators, slow moving, tough phalanx. The Raven Wing, fast jet bikes and flyers. And the Green Wing, which is your standard Marines. Mm -hmm. They are a jack of all trades, but not in the sense where they're good at everything, but rather they have a lot of things that are good at specific things. Like instead of 20 people that have a multi-tool, they instead have 20 people with gigantic power tools for every job imaginable. If you like being suspicious about everyone and everything in your surroundings, but you also like to have a whole lot of deep night type lore, run the Dark Angels. The One Piece! I like them. I like them. They're bad boys. And I like the green color and, and you know, their outfits and all of that. This is very, very cool. So this was the first one, uh, first Legion. And how many are there? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, 20. I think in his uh, Factions Explained video, he said that there were less than 20 Primarchs. He said like 18 or something, 18 Primarchs, right? And people kept, like, and people kept correcting him. But I guess that was because it's three years ago or something they're not included in this video right yeah the, so the second oh see see the second legion is missing so from the first we go to the third immediately second oh, oh second legion is new new right gotcha i am sorry i feel like i'm asking questions right before bricky gives an explanation why am i like this <laughs> let's just watch and not ask anything and Brick is gonna deliver. The One Piece is real! Our second Legion is a special one. <laughs> the bad, bad you things. Can see, yeah, the numbers all go okay. to 11. The Emperor's Children. Ooh, Allegiance, purple. traitor. Primark, Fulgrim, a perfectionist, an artist, 
a sneaky snakey snake. And the single word descriptor, perfection. The emperor's children are all Why about the like pursuit half? of perfection. Perfection in all they do. Perfection in war, in artistry, and perfection in every other aspect of life. Their armor is a gleaming pink, purple, and gold. Their ships have spires of gorgeous marvel and gold statues in their honor. That's Fulgrim is extra. a man who believes the pursuit of perfection is the goal of all things. And I mean, look at him. Can you truly tell me that he is not perfect? The hair, the features. As Primarchs go, he is the the one you look at and if 40k had a guy that would give you the best sex you've ever had and never call you back this is the fucking guy which is why oh this God. pursuit of decadence <laughs> led them to the evils of chaos yes <laughs> Emperor's children are our first chaos legion and not just a normal one. One devoted to, you guessed it, Slanesh, the prince of pleasure, god of unspeakable okay. excess. The emperor's children in their pursuit are now horrifyingly mutated beings through Slanesh's great will. They torture and maim to feel perfection through pain. They screech and attack with sonic weaponry for perfection through sound. And they slaughter, aiming for perfection in war. Fulgrim himself lost the battle against Slanesh as a demon sword corrupted his mind and transformed him into the sexy oh. man he was, into the sexy snake he is now. A demon like primar corrupted and bringing his legion's oh. will by himself. As far as Emperor's children Whoa. go, they are some bad people. They do horrible, horrible things to anyone and everything. In fact, they're such trolls that their battle cry is for the emperor, despite being horribly mutated and corrupted. If you've ever <laughs> taken a little too much of a drug or, or maybe the music at the concert was too loud and you didn't bring any earplugs or whatever the reason, you just take all those things and you dial it and you dial it and you twist it and the knob breaks and that is the Emperor's children. God is dead. God, we mean dead. Oh, okay, they're Chaos Space Marine. Yeah, because like for some reason I had this conception that all the Space Marine are good. Or like, you know, they're a little bit bad, but not chaotic. All right, second, mm -hmm. second Legion fell to chaos. So the Empress children are chaotic. And the first ones, the green ones, they're like, they weren't super good, amazing either, but those aren't chaotic. The, those aren't chaos. The green ones are like the, for the Emperor, right? <laughs> yeah, because they're yelling for the Emperor and I'm like, what? I am so confused. <laughs> And we have killed him. The Iron Warriors. Allegiance, traitor. Primarch, Percherabo. A warlord, a siege smith, an incel. Single word descriptor, siege. Continuing the trend of our Chaos Legions, we have the Iron Warriors led by Primarch Percherabo of Olympia. To understand the Iron Warriors though, one must first understand Percherabo. A man so bitter, coffee beans run for light. A man who hates the world and everyone in it, who never got recognition for his deeds, who hates his brothers and hates their accomplishments even more. He's a salty so, bitch. So laughably petty, so incredibly bitter that he goes full circle to becoming likable. Why? And then so. Because he's competent. The Horus Heresy, we didn't talk about the Horus Heresy. Intermission. So Horus was the emperor's favorite <laughs> son, right? You know, so the emperor walked into his room. Horus said, dad, dad, I just gifted 150, <laughs> 150 subs to my favorite streamer, Bricky. <laughs> And he's like, hey, are you, hey, son, hey, are, uh, hey how, how does it go? Are you winning? Are you winning, son? No, I just wasted all the, all, all your money from your like, credit card to give all these subs to Bricky, right? I'm sorry, I'm gonna... Room, Horace said, Dad, Dad, I just gifted 150 subs to Amaranth, and she said my name oh, a Amaranth, time, okay. And she loved me for it. I really think that I might get to meet her one day. And it kind of played out something like this. No feelings for her. Are not real they are real to me and then oh it started playing out a little bit more like this let the seas boil let the stars fall so it takes the last drop of my this blood. was such a cool yeah cinematic 
So Iron Warriors, the Horus Heresy wouldn't have gotten shit done without Peter Turbo. Imagine an entire faction that is the personification of brutal industrialism, where you serve the Legion until your dying breath. You build and you kill and you siege and you kill and you literally summon demons just to take them and trap them in machines and use them as cannon fodder. This is a thing they do. They summon demons to trap and what use as shock troops. The Iron Warriors are siege warfare incarnate. They are heavy weapons. They are tanks. They are turrets. And they don't die. They hate Imperials. They hate Imperial Fists. Do you need a pacifier, Iron Baby? No! No, I don't! They are oh, Victor so Incarnate. Percherabo and the Iron Warriors don't serve the Chaos Gods because they like them. They serve them because fuck you. Come on, guys. Let's go. Not another speeding ticket. I'll fight it in co Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like Ricky's videos have gotten better too. Right? Because this is a more recent video. Like, the memes are more meme -y. The Bricky is more like... You know, the final confrontation between Horus and the Emperor of Mankind. Do you mind if I talk to you for a second? No. I've always hated you. You've always hated you. I didn't know that. Yeah, a lot of people know it. What you told other people, you hated me. Yeah. I even turned some people against you. Is that why you came over to talk to me? To <laughs> tell me you hated me? No, no, I, I came to say goodbye to you and the rest of it just sort of happened on its own. Came out, yeah, sure. And you're a little man, bitch. <laughs> I've always been threatened by you <laughs> because there's something about you that I don't understand and I hate things that I don't understand. Oh my god, this but is so accurate. You'll always be a loser and I'll always be more successful than you in nearly every way and that's just the way it is. <laughs> Let's keep watching Bricky, I'm sorry. We got distracted. <laughs> You're gonna accept gotta go fast as a medical condition. The White Scars. Allegiance, loyalist. Primark? Jagatai Khan, a speed Ooh, demon, yeah, he does a look plain a strider, a roast god. Single word descriptor, speed. Hailing from Chagoras. The White Scars are all about speed. They love melee, but they love it even more when they are doing it from a motorcycle or land speeder. Or honestly, just running really damn fast. The White Scars are honestly forgotten about a lot, and that's lore accurate. They are a legion that doesn't seek the recognition or glory from the combat they engage in. They engage in it because it is their duty and because they love it. Not in the insane slaughter enjoyment of no, 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 no. the thrill of the fight. They are known as the laughing killers because they ride into battle with a smile on their face and a chuckle in their throat. They love and as you can tell by their Primarch's name, that's kind they of are wholesome. Mongolian based. Yeah, Remember horses and replace them with motorcycles with mm -hmm. and land spears and that's your style they are heavily based the on the old times of genghis khan and you can say this is 40k and everybody's evil you know that fits the white scars are actually physical scars on their body going back to their heritage on Chagoras. the khan himself is kind of a dickhead but but a reasonable one he thinks ahead he's intelligent he's patient he is often underestimated because he doesn't scream his accomplishments from the rooftops which is what makes him and the white scars dangerous his skills are kept at bay only to be truly shown when the time is needed the white scar yeah they're probably pretty honorable too you know like they have a code and stuff like they strike me as this kind of people oh yeah all legions are based on something yeah i like them and i like white i like white color yeah, i think they look pretty neat Stars are a forgotten legion often but that doesn't diminish their accomplishments all it does is surprise those who underestimate them speed awesome mongolian vibe they got going on and if you really like to stab people that's the white scars for you shameless thirst break <laughs> Woof, 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 woof. Woof, bitch. The Space Wolves. Allegiance, I heard so much about loyalist. them. Primark, Lehman Russ. A Viking, Vike. okay. savage, yeah, 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 yeah. the Undertaker. Vikings. Single word descriptor. Wolf, 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 wolf. There's so many goddamn wolf units. Skater, how many units in the Space Wolves Codex have the word wolf in their name? 13. The Space Wolves are the sixth legion and hail from Fenris, a frozen wasteland of a world with their Primarch, Lehman Russ. I don't really need to spend a whole lot of time talking about the Space Wolves because it's very obvious who they are. They are the second most like obvious what their shtick is legion shtick. in the 20 legions besides the world eaters. When you look at the Space Wolves behind, what do you see? Do you see Vikings in space? You've done it. 
Congratulations, you have found Vikings in space. But they have as much in common with a regular Marine as an old day Viking with, with like a Roman soldier. You see, as a space Marine, your body is so enhanced that you filter out poison and so you can't get drunk. The space wolves distill a special mead out of a horrible poisonous plant that would kill a normal human so they could get drunk. They have mm -hmm. fangs in their mouths. They sometimes True. cannibalize their enemies. Yeah, yeah they, sometimes they eat people because they gain knowledge about them from there and about battle plans. The space wolves are savages. They're raiders. They're Vikings. But despite all- I mean, if it's an enemy, <laughs> I can't blame them. Whatever makes them more powerful, you know? Like if they're gonna kill the enemy anyway, What's the difference if they just stab them to death or if they eat them and like gain some some knowledge from it? <laughs> Taran is approved. <laughs> but like it's the lore of the of the Vikings too, right? Uh that's how they went berserk as well. That that's what that's what was behind it. Getting high of uh, all imaginable substances and then just going frenzy, bad shit crazy on the enemies i appreciate this video so much because in the first one he just like barely barely covered you know any differences between space marines so this is a really cool knowledge the space wolves become wolves if they live long live long enough okay like that is that's cool all of this they are loyal to their core leaving russ is an egotistical guy who just shouts stories and tales of his accomplishments everywhere they can but at the same time, he was so damn loyal that instead of gunning down his foes, he hit him with a fucking backbreaker to show his devotion, his devotion to wrestling. If you want Vikings in space, you found it. Play the Vikings in space. We're going to build the wall. We have no choice. Uh, I, sorry, I had a question. Like, he keeps talking about these primers and he says, like, Th this guy is an ass. That guy is an incel. This guy is a shithead. And, like, the con, you know, the con is, you know, kind of cool, but he's not a good guy either. Like, are they all like this? Any good primarchs out there? Any, like, wholesome, not assholes i don't know why this excites me so much I, I don't know i like it we have no choice build that wall build that wall build that wall fists. the imperial fists allegiance loyalist primark rogel dorn a builder a phalanx and he needs a hand single word descriptor Fortify. The Imperial Fists are led by Primarch Rogel Dorn, their homeworld of Inuit. However, they themselves are actually a fleet based chapter, with their main source of recruitment coming from an enormous moon sized ship called the Phalanx. Ooh. The Fists are a chapter you think of when you think of duty. They love to serve. The love to serve and the inability to be moved. Rogel Dorn is an architect, a master builder, and basically a rock in brain and body. A lack of humor or ability to lie yeah, very shows that he is as blunt as the weapons of war he creates. Okay. Not the swords he makes, but like blunt, strong weapons. The fists are the same. Take your archetypical American Marine style look, a buzz cut, a hard sense of duty, and then throw in some power arm and a love for building defenses and you have the imperial fists they are immovable when you find a spot they're ready to defend you you can't breach them their knowledge of defensive Ooh. warfare is paramount without them the horus heresy would have been so much more effective but thanks to their insane and immovable tenacity the imperium lives today and let's not forget that iron warrior and imperial fist rivalry want to know why the iron warriors are so bitter these guys are the reason why hey, guys Bring the thing. Where is he going? This one is the wait. Is this the is this the the vid the meme video that you guys said that I should watch? <laughs> I don't know. I like this animation. It looks, it looks funny. It looks cute. I did think it was a parody on Monty Python because of the you know of the whole like the walls, the castle walls, and this guy looking down on them and uh, spitting spitting insults at them. <laughs> Yeah, I really want to watch the f the full the full meme. Hey, hey, that could have killed me. Hey, guys, we missed. 
Get another! Dorn and Perturabo <laughs> are basically two sides of the same coin. One is just a bit more level-headed <laughs> and got better jobs. If background. you want to be defensive, to be good at everything space marines are good at, bolters, heavy weapons, vehicles, you want a classic military fighting force, start fisting. I am having a very bad day. This, today, is one of the worst days. Oh boy. Oh boy, here we go. The Night Lords. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I wanted to, the 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 Imperial Fist, the Seventh Legion. I don't know how I find them. I don't know. They're just they just seem like a uh, huge uh, suits of armor for protection, and like I don't see anything else about them. That's like interesting. I guess they're all right. They're not super evil, so that's good. Night Lords. They psh, look at this. Look at this. Look at those. Oh my god. Allegiance, heretic. Primarch, Conrad Kurz. A sadist, a vigilante, the presso espresso. Single word, fear. The Night Lords are my favorite legion, hailing from the Stromo and their Primarch, Conrad Kurz. They are a They're traitor like, legion from a planet known as the Sunless like vampires. World, the world of Endless Night. Nostromo is a horrible hive city that is known for being host to some of the worst gang violence, murder, and working conditions around. The only thing keeping the population in check is the suicide rate. The Night Lords followed in the footsteps of their Primarch, a man who believed in a twisted sense of justice and that the only way to make humans this is vampires. Is through Fear. The Legion's lesson has been lost on them as their ranks were repopulated by gang members, murderers, arsonists, torturers, and other words I can't say on YouTube as young as 12 years old. Murderers before they were even teenagers raised to become demigods. Now fear is what they sow and flesh is what they reap. The Night Lords are scared. Gum. They are the exact opposite of all other legions. They torture and they maim and they flay because they think it's fun. They run away often so they can come back and kill you with more numbers. They're kind of like Drakari. Wait, Drakari, right? Just a uh, human type? <laughs> Damn, okay. I didn't know the, the, the Space Marines legions could be so evil. What the hell? They're very, very corrupted. They prey on the innocent and the weak. They kill normal civilians because it's easy and flee any battle where they don't possess overwhelming odds. They are the antithesis the of normal hell? Space They're Marines. Scum. They are... There's one time, a world did not comply to their demands, so they raided one of their ships and brought it into atmosphere. The crowds cheered and clapped as it appears that they had won the battle. And the airlocks opened, and the skinned and flayed bodies of the crew were thrown down in the populace. In other words... A legion of gangers and criminals. Add together a heavy Slavic influence to them. And you've got my favorite faction. You have not done the dishes for five years. So embarrassed when people come over here. But what does it matter? You bring them over, you kill them. Vampires don't do dishes. The Blood Angels. Blood Angels. Allegiance, loyal. Primarch, Sanguinius, an angel, a vampire, a dead ass oh. motherfucker. Another vampire. Single word descriptor. Blood. The Blood Angels are Ooh. Ninth Legion, hailing from oh, the Holy Oh, these are actual Baal, vampires. With their Primarch, Sanguinius. The Blood Angels are a tragic tale with one of the best Primarchs, one beloved by almost everybody. A genuine angelic wow. figure who led his people to glory. Killed thighs. by the hands of the traitor Horus before the Emperor's oh, no. eyes. The death of their Primarch led the entire Legion to madness as their gene seed malfunctioned and created something known as the Black Rage. The Blood Angels degrade over time, experiencing something called the Red Thirst, which gives them a genuine vampiric thirst for blood. As their minds degrade and break down, they get angrier and angrier, becoming berserk killing machines with no other goal than to tear everything in sight apart. Oh, but they don't see it as that. They see themselves there, at their Primarch's demise, with Horus in sight. And to them, it's time for vengeance. That space marine over there, that chaos space marine, that's Horus. Kill him. That orc war boss over there? Horus. Kill him. That Tyranid swarm? 1,000 Horuses. What many Horuses? Kill them all. Horus. Did your toast come out a little bit burnt? 
Horus sabotaged your toaster. Destroy the toaster. Right. Destroy it. Do it. Do it. Kill your toaster. Do it. This slow, debilitating <laughs> disease takes over the blood angels and it gives them this angelic, vampire, and Catholic inspired imagery. They have chalices of blood. They rest in coffins and can even use psychic powers to sprout angel wings from their bodies. They are a tragedy through and through, and the only thing that will look more tragic are the mangled bodies of those they come in contact with. I got a diesel engine, and honey, we forgot to mention. We're okay there there were there were cool i like i like these th these two ones so these the 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 blood uh, the blood angels they are good they are good right they're just a little bit crazy but good what are good books for a beginner oh my god i keep asking people and people have been giving me uh, suggestions and comments but you know i want to ask for multiple opinions to form uh, a little list like i really want to i really need to read more like videos are cool are very convenient but i need um I need to read more actual books and I feel like uh, a Warhammer 40k book would be perfect perfect I just need one that is like more beginner friendly that's not gonna that I'm not gonna give up on because I don't understand anything oh okay I have a question but rogue traders are rogue traders uh, a faction or are they just like they're just individuals do they belong to any faction I mean obviously they're working for the Emperor but like what on where on where on are they on, on the grand uh, scheme of things they're kind of kind of i think they're like independent i was wondering if they're a faction or not they're, they're just they're just like nobility but thank you thank you you guys general info i don't mind because i don't even know that much like little by little piece by piece we're going to we're going to gather all that info. I'm really enjoying watching uh, Bricky's videos. Very simple. And after after we're done oh, with Bricky's videos, like I'm going to watch this one, then the timeline, Warhammer 40k timeline, and I think I have like another one or two recommended. I might start uh, watching either on my own time or reacting to. Not sure how to do this. Luton and uh, Arbiter Arbiter Ian. And uh, there's a, there was another creator that like does really nice lore videos. Like Bricky's videos are cool to do reactions for because they're very like he puts all those pictures, all those memes, so like you can actually watch. But um, creators like Luton, um, it's like it's like an audiobook. Like how do you react to an audiobook? I might just uh, listen to his lore videos on my own time, like before bed or something. So yeah, I'm not sure which one of those I should react to and which which one of those I should do on my own time. Thank you so much for watching and a special thanks to the members of our channel for their support. Thank you so much.